Hello all and welcome to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today I want to cover something that may be very helpful to quite a few of you out there. These days, many people are moving to our part of the country, but one city in particular that's very popular and for good reason is Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston is a beautiful city. It's a historic city. It has a ton to offer in terms of culture, location, all of the above. And so it makes it a very attractive option. But in an environment where people often make decisions without being really well informed of their options and with products such as YouTube out there, it gives people like myself an opportunity to shed some light on the broader scope of a subject of moving to South South Carolina and give you things to consider, which is what we try to do a lot on this channel. So what I'm going to do is read to you an article that was sent to me from MSN.com. And then we're going to go over just a little bit of brief information that if you're watching this video and considering a move to Charleston or any area in the state of South Carolina should be helpful and insightful. So let's dive right into it. And the title of this article is we lived in Charleston for a year, but it was too expensive and crowded. Now we're happily settled two hours north. This is a few weeks ago from McDuffie Putnam at Insider.com. All right, the bullet points for this article, my wife and I lived in Charleston for a year and it was nice but not feasible for us long term. We found the cost of living and booming population to be more than we could manage. So we moved north to Florence, South Carolina and found many upsides to living in a smaller city. I've traveled a lot and lived in many places from Frankfurt to New York City, but at my core, I'm a native South Carolinian and I've lived all over the state throughout the years. So I wasn't surprised to find Charleston at number nine on U.S. News and World Report's list of the 15 best places to live in the South with a thriving economy culture and art scene, beautiful beaches and many restaurants and bars. My wife and I lived in a rental on James Island a few miles from downtown Charleston for a year from late 2020 to 2021. We liked the area so much we intended to eventually buy a house there, but we later learned that living there wasn't feasible for us in the long run. Although it's a great place to visit, we found a smaller town in South Carolina to be a much better fit for us. The city's population and growth in recent years and its reputation as one of the best cities to visit in the U.S. means getting around wasn't always easy for us when we lived there. I found that a combination of the region's geography, tourists, and dense population could regularly transform a quick errand into a traffic nightmare. For example, our neighborhood was close to a drawbridge with clogged traffic on nearby roads anytime a large boat passed through. When the drawbridge was down, a trip to the grocery store less than two miles from our home could take 20 minutes. If the bridge was open and blocking traffic, the same round trip might take an hour or more. Traffic can be an issue in any heavily populated city, but it did make us wonder if we'd be better off living further outside of Charleston instead of in it. The city's great features also came with a steep price tag. Our cost of living in Charleston was too much to stomach. The city is one of the most expensive on the aforementioned list of the best places to live in the South. According to data from Zillow and Realtor.com, its median home price is a whopping $635,000 in average rent is almost $2,000 a month. Our experience seemed about on par. The house we rented in Charleston was less than 900 square feet and cost us $2,100 a month, even though it badly needed renovation. When we eventually went shopping for a home to purchase, the sticker shock forced us to reevaluate our plans. Homes in our neighborhood on James Island rarely went on the market. When they did, bidding wars were not uncommon and even small houses were well out of our price range. Many three-bedroom homes in Charleston in the Charleston area have recently sold for half a million dollars or more some over a million dollars according to redfin now we can obviously look at all of that data with precision if you have an interest in that we're now in a smaller south carolina city where our everyday life is pretty good after almost a year we decided that traffic crowds and cost of living in charleston were not meant for us we moved two hours north of columbia the city where we raised our kids after about three years there a fantastic in-person career opportunity came up for my wife and took us to florence south carolina florence is in the northeastern portion of south carolina about 90 minutes from Myrtle Beach and two hours from Charleston is home to about 40,000 people, less than a third of the population of Charleston. It doesn't quite have the endless dining and shopping options or buzzing social scene that larger southern cities like Charleston offer, but housing is more affordable. The median home list and price for a home in Florence, $265,000. Median rent is $1,350 a month. We were able to purchase a three-bedroom, two-bath, 2,300 square foot home for about $300,000 in a cozy and convenient area. Our city is smaller, but still has a lot to offer. Our neighbors are friendly, and we can walk or jog for miles on well-maintained tree-lined streets. There are three grocery stores less than 10 minutes away from our neighborhood, and our access to health care is more than adequate. We've got tons of parks and trails in our area and several nice places to eat. We We've been here for over six months now and we're very happy. Florence is no Charleston in many ways, but for everyday life, it's pretty great. All right, so let's just look at some real numbers to verify what this couple was saying in this article that we just read, and then we'll just kind of recap a couple of the points. 
Now, what you're looking at is current active data for Charleston, South Carolina. And they said the median list price in Charleston was 635. I knew that was too low. The current median uh, price of new listings in Charleston is $739,000. But I always talk about this as a realtor. I try to stress to people what you need to look at is price per square foot. That's what really determines how expensive homes are in any market. And the price per square foot, the average price per square foot in Charleston here, let's do it this way. Price per square foot. This is Charleston just holistically. We could break this down into smaller areas, but for the sake of this video, we'll do it this way. The average price per square foot in Charleston on a 90 day average right now is $404 per. If you break that into segments, the average price per goes from $274 to $761 per square foot, depending on your segment of the market. Now, what does that mean? If you're shopping around half a million dollars or less for a home, you could expect to pay around $275 per square foot. If your budget is between $600 and say, let's call it uh, $675,000 to let's just say 1.3 million, somewhere in that range, then you could expect to pay. And again, this is just for setting expectations. Obviously, every house is circumstantial, case-to-case -case basis, but about $330 to $475 per square foot. If you're shopping in the top market segment of Charleston, which is you know over $2 million, $2.5 million homes and up, you're going up to $700 plus dollars per square foot, okay? But just on average... $400 per square foot. And so for many people, even if you're just looking at that bottom 90 day market segment, it's $274 per square foot, your half a million dollar homes and below. What about Florence? Average of $146 per square foot. Median list price is at $309,990. And you see that there, if you segment the market in Florence, even our top 90 day, these homes are around 160 up to $176 per square foot is what we're seeing. Now, obviously, there's much less inventory for those really, you know, expensive, high-end, million-dollar, multi-million-dollar homes in Florence. There are some, but certainly not nearly as many as Charleston. But yet the bottom line is that homes are less expensive in Florence, which is exactly what this couple found. So just a couple of closing thoughts to think about. One thing that we try to do on this channel is showcase our area. I service Florence, Conway, and Myrtle Beach. I'm actually going to do a second video, much like this one, with another article also talking about a family that left Charleston, comparing it to Myrtle Beach and Conway. But what I would say is they are right. Uh, nobody would go on here and try to convince you that Florence is comparable to Charleston in terms of the areas of shopping, culture, history, and all of that. That does not mean that Florence is completely desolate in any of these areas. Not to mention the fact of the projections of the future, the development that's going on in Florence in the advancement in all of those areas, such as the development in our downtown area. We've talked about a lot of this on the channel, and what we strive to do here is cover these things so that we can provide an adequate resource for any of you that may be home shopping to consider, and right from the comfort of your own home and your own living room, you can look at the analytics, the data, the numbers, the money, which is probably obviously the biggest driving factor for most people, but then also you can see what we have to offer in terms terms of entertainment, food, culture, all of the above. I'm based out of Florence, splitting time in Myrtle Beach, and I can tell you that I've been to some different places in my life as well. The older I've gotten, I've really come to appreciate what we have to offer here in our city in Florence, South Carolina. So I think that you will too. Certainly this couple uh, seems to feel that way. I don't know who they are personally, but I can validate their story. And you've seen the numbers also to corroborate with their testimony. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Also, if this is up your alley and there's a good chance, especially if you stuck around this long that it is and you're considering this move, I ask you to subscribe to the channel because we're striving to provide the entire spectrum of information that really is going to be valuable to you in all the ways that are practical and personally interesting. And if you need to ask any other further questions, again, all my contact information is down in the description. I'd be happy to answer any questions for you that I can. Again, I am a licensed realtor servicing the state of South Carolina, particularly the PD and the coastal area, Myrtle Beach, Conway, Florence, all the way over to Sumter and everything in between. Uh, these are the areas that I've been for the greater majority of 40 years and that I know the best. And so I'd be happy to impart any of that to you that I could. But in the meantime, y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.